And now, ladies and gentlemen, moving on to the co-main event of the evening. Scheduled for eight three-minute rounds for your WBC Middle East, Middle East Middleweight title. Introducing first fighting out of the blue corner. He stands 189 centimeters tall. His record, eight wins and one defeat. Representing Cameron Stefan Fonjo Hendu. Welcome back, everybody, to ringside rampage for the launch it is a co-main event as mentioned there by steve the wbc middle east middleweight title is on the line here it is stefan fonjo hendo that's coming out he's got a record eight one so eight wins one loss seven by knockout though from the cameroonian man so we're expecting some big fire from him He's got the fire in the eyes. This is going to be an absolute belt. We're really looking for this one. This is not very often you get to have these ones, and we've been so lucky. Thank you to support WBC for this one. The WBC supervisor, Oksana Simiasina. Come in, then we got there our referee for this bout, Jojo Torres. And now, ladies and gentlemen, his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in 76 kilos. His record seven wins and three defeats. Fighting out of Egypt, Abdel the Monster Kellen. You gotta love it there. Abdel Monster Kellen there. He's got seven wins, three knockouts, but he's a powerful, powerful fighter here. But uh, Egypt, something a little bit different from his uh, Orkin song there. <laughs> I think he's shown a lot of confidence from the young man. Yeah, we see him in the win yesterday. They certainly have a lot of confidence, didn't they? Yes, it does. Ah, he's looking at that. He's chilling out. <laughs> A little bit of dance, put a little bit of dance there. Two very contrasting entrances here from the two fighters. Very interesting from the start, actually. Stefan walking in, uh, very focused, very zoned in. Up to here, just much more relaxed. Dancing, smiling on the way out down the catwalk. Yeah, I think Stefan's took this fight better seriously. Two fights there squaring off. So again, this one is a WBC middle. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, this bout is your co-main event of the evening. Eight three-minute rounds for your WBC Middle East middleweight title. And when the action begins, your referee, Jojo Torres from the Philippines. And your judges for tonight, Shazunab, Gary Kidanoski, and Mike Hale. Okay. Listen, this is championship fight. Huh? Obey the rules and put yourself at all the time. No hitting behind of the head. No below the belt. Okay? Good luck. That's luck. I'll do the all of a sudden changing his. His facials there from very relaxed starting to Nelson and focus in. It's eight three minute rounds. We're up for a big one here. Let's go around at number one. They're looking to early, early, early here, but he's showing their confidence. Looking to step forward and not take a backward step. I'll do that.
think Stefan's got to start pulling his left hand out just to keep a bit of, rain, a bit of distance between the two of them and find the range where he can land the shots when he's coming in. Yep. And his hands are in close, to the, his opponent's just taking the space. That's better. I'm wondering if they actually have those uh, mind games gone earlier, that, you know, that confidence from yesterday, and then kind of when we walked out here, it was played and got into Stefan there. Yeah, possibly. But his, his feet are, are pretty bad, they're pr pretty flat footed as well. You can see Stefan moving away, mm -hmm. and his feet are flat, he's slow on his feet, so Stefan has to use that to his advantage. Mm -hmm. Just has to touch him slightly, then move. Let the play off balance, then hit him again when he comes back in, then move again. Just keep it nice and easy, no rushing. Yep. Like that. Then move again. Every day, a little bit of a different style. He's always a. Uh Probably a bit of a tennis player, actually. Showing a bit of a yells there. Stefan's doing the right thing when he's in there. Just hold him, let the referee break him up. Back to jab again. Just to get the hand out now, straight away. That's it, and then move. I've seen that a couple of times there from Abdu, just with a slap style there. He's trying it a couple of times with their right hand. He's quite crude when he's thrown the shots as well. <laughs> Stefan had just had to keep it through the middle. Simple, simple shots through the middle, then move. Head and body, then move. <laughs> so good early signs there from Stefan. <laughs> Stefan Hindu there, right out of that blue corner. He's got the black trunks on. It's 10 seconds to go here in the first round. <laughs> there we go, end of the first round. <laughs> And you can see the two different styles from the fighters here. It is ringside rampage for the launch and on the replay. Where are you, where are you lean towards in the first round there, Paul? I would probably go towards Steph having the cleaner shots. His opponent was really, you know, forcing the pace, getting in, but it wasn't landing in clean. He landed with one or two right hands over the top, but not clean. And Stefan was landing the clean shots to head and body. Nothing much in it though. No, nothing much at all. It's interesting to see how guys, when they, when they, when they both settled down after two or three rounds. Exactly. Yeah, definitely. Like, we would, I do walked out and like his, his entry song. <laughs> very relaxed. Um, he was very relaxed. He came in, he also got in the ring, he switched on a bit more. He's immediately a more emotional fighter here out of the two. 100%. And you can see that Stefan just has to keep his calm and stay patient. Yeah. But Tiffany, it's done. Round number two here in Ringside Rampage for the launch. I'm liking what I'm seeing there out of the blue corner, like nice composure, been effective, efficient as well. He has to try to make, make Abdo throw the shots, then counter him, then move again. Yeah. Abdo just wants to fight in close. Yeah. Stefan has to be clever. I don't think Abdo's actually going to get into Stefan's head. I thought it might have before, but it just seems Stefan's focused. He's got his game plan, he's just looking to execute it. See Abdu there every time they come in close. His facial expressions. He's getting frustrated, and this is when he'll make mistakes. Mm -hmm. you, you look at his record. I mean, Abdu, he's, he's got a great. I mean, he's got seven wins and six loads of fire and knockout, but he's also got these three losses and a draw. Yeah. And I don't think he's fought anyone. Oh, I don't think he's fought anyone at Stefan's level, but that right hand certainly landed. So you see again the emotions. Again, Abdu. So he's lost a point in this round straight away. You see this a lot when they come, they come together too. Abdu just feels like they have a steer in them with them sometimes. 
but I'm really loving what I've seen from Stefan. He's very, very composed. He doesn't let the emotions get a hold of him. Stefan just has to be careful. He doesn't walk on a shot away with swing. Nice up hooker. Beautiful there. Then move again, then move that set. Sensing here from Stefan. Opportunity potentially. He has to move, get away, take a wee bit of space. Has to go back to that left hand again, right through the middle of that jab. There you go. It's messy when they get in close. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know it's early, but we look at the two. I think the longer this fight goes on, the more it's going to sway in Stefan's favour. It's just efficient. I'm liking it. Oh. Yeah, I think so. The longer the fight goes, Stefan will settle down. He'll start getting his range and his timing. But again, he has to watch. He doesn't walk into a big swing like that. Right hand. The emotions there. That's the end of round number two here at Ringside Rampage for the launch. On the replay, the emotions coming there for Abdu. He's really trying to finish it. And for me, if he's going to win this one, that's actually what he's for me. That's what he's got to do. He's got to kind of go for it. He wants Stefan to stand there for with him and trade blows in close like that with the swinging shots. But Stefan, he's doing the right thing. Tying him up when he gets in close. Let the referee bring him up and then get back to the straight shots through the middle, head and body. And he's catched him with the right hand over the top as well, after yep. the straight jab to the body. That's what Stefan has to keep doing, keep him moving, keep him on his toes, keep him moving. He wants to plant his feet and throw shots. But again, you see that right hand, he nearly caught Stefan with it, and one yeah. there. This must be a great start here to our co-main event. It is WBC Middle East Middleweight title, and we are into round number three. So I'll do the monster color there, fighting in the black trunks, black trim. We got Stefan Hindu there from Cameroon. And the black and white trunks. I think it's going to be a defining round here, this round number three. Stefan has to keep moving. Bailers left to right, use his lateral movement. Don't go back in straight lines. That's better. Head body then move then, right hand over the top. Let the referee pick and then go back to his jab again, right through the middle. Good shot. Yeah. Talked about the danger there, it is there. That right hand up the jab to the body. After this, look at this face. I mean, we've got the bottom ring side here. It looks a little concerned there. Oh. Oh. He's just going to go guns blazing, isn't he? Just land, try and land what he can land. That's better. Head, body, keep moving. Stefan here on the hunt. that bit of space with him because he's tired. Mm -hmm. You can definitely see the fitness starting to show through there. Especially the first two rounds, Abdul was just animated in his face. You can yeah. see, completely gone. Stefan just wanted to catch him, wanting to time him and catch my right hand. There you go. <laughs> Malfikar coming out here. Jojo Torres there, a referee in the middle, slowing the fight. This has been a better round for Stefan, the, the tight stand to, to sway here towards Stefan's fate in his favour. 
Andre Sheehan again. Very nice indeed. I mean, Stefan's proven he can throw a punch. He's won eight, uh, sorry, seven of his eight wins have come by a knockout. So, I'm sure we're looking for his eighth one here. Still very early days, only round three of eight. Have a hammer punch there coming up on Abdo. Seconds here in the third round. Oh, right up the bell there. I'm just going to watch his emotions a little bit there, and then I'll get away there. But uh, third round here, this is turning into a, a great fight. A good round for Stefan this one round anyway. Land a lot more cleaner shots. Left hook. But Abdul, what do you think his corner's telling him here? Obviously they want him close, they want him to stick towards Stefan. They want him to stick close to him. Any any space Stefan's landing shots, he's landing that right hook, he's landing that jab to the body. He yep. ha has to be close, he has to be chest to chest with him for, for him to win that fight, uh, win this fight. I think he's lost a gum shield for what I can see here. Welcome to the live broadcast here, Ringside Rampage 4, the launch down of ABC Fitness in Port Rushet. It is inside Dubai Maritime City. Three rounds down out of this title fight, the WBC title fight for the WBC Middle East Middleweight title. There's a close contest going into the fourth. You can see it on Stefan's face, he's ready. Here we go, round number four. I think it's definitely a defining round for Abdu. You can see his fitness is starting to fade. So he's going to do something. Things will be here. Yeah, I don't think they've gone much longer, to be honest with you. Stefan has to keep what he's doing, doing what he's doing. Hit the body, hit the head, through the middle, then move that wee step back. Mm -hmm. And he's not going to take any shots in, the, in return. He just needs to be careful though. Abdul's just swinging that right hand. Mm -hmm. That's it, pick the head, pick the body, nice uppercut. Very nice there from Stefan, he's searching. Like you're saying, you can see Aldous Hitch just waiting to get a little bit closer than bring out that right hand of his. Big swing there by Stefan. He has to be careful, he doesn't get caught by the counter. Both fighters here starting to show a bit of fatigue here midway through the fourth round. Yeah, both boys are starting to pull the pace now. Mm. Now this one's scheduled for eight three minutes round, the WBC Middle East middleweight title here. Stefan has to keep that head movement as well. Yeah. To keep popping that jab out, just keep flicking it out. There you go. And again, oh, bum, double the jab up, keep Abdul moving. Nice, Dre, the shake, Dre. Good boy, showing a lot of desire here to try and win this fight. Definitely a lot of heart been shown by both fighters. This way, Stefan has to be careful of. Two a nice right hand there, two of them. This is what Abdul wants. He wants that scrap, doesn't he? Last 10 seconds. The one-two there. Stefan 
We're just looking to see how this round, and he has into round number four. <laughs> big, big round there for the both fighters. It's an exciting fight. Yeah, it's been fantastic. Definitely a close one between the two, and as we expect here when it comes to a title fight, our co-main event here at the ringside rampage for the launch. Stefan certainly started well the first half of the fight, and then Abdul uh, come into the second half of the fight when it is uh, Stefan started to retire. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a nice and surprising, Abdul. I thought he would probably fade off quick, but he seems to tip back up. Got a yeah, second that, win. That, that was around the two halves anyway. As you can see there on screen, if you're hearing from the broadcast, fantastic crowd here in, in the AB Fitness Center. Ringside Rampage. Number four here, the launch brought to you by RSG Promotions. On there, quick off the stool. And here we go to round at number five. Oh, working the jab there early. Look at this him start to double the jab away down there. Right through the round. Nice early sign from both fighters here. Seen that a little bit more from Stefan looking to work the body. Yeah, he's looking toward the body and bring him up through the middle when they're in close, which is good. But you can see Abdo's hands are he's quite square on. Yeah. Every time Stefan's landing the jab to the body, every time he throws it, he lands it cleanly. He ran a right, nice right uppercut. See here, fatigue's down to set in for both fighters in the fifth round. And you can see one thing, Abdo's not even throwing a jab, it's just swings, he's, he's coming at the head and body. There's no jabs at all. Abdo there grabbing at the ropes too, trying to give himself an extra couple of seconds. No, oh, but they're talking, Stefan leaving himself open there. We know both fighters have got that knockout ability. The majority of their fights might probably win, sorry, have come from the knockout. Stefan has to be careful again. He took a nice right hand there on the way in. Has to be careful with his defense coming in. Put them in that round. Oh, I was actually quite surprised. I actually thought Stefan was going to take him out there. I thought he was going to throw a bunch. I mean, he's, he, I like how he's aggressive in this one. Abdu, for me, just hanging on. But it, like you said, Abdu also maybe just waiting for that opening to throw that right hand. Yeah, you, th you think when Stefan's taking up a hand, then Abdu comes back with some shots and catches Stefan. Exactly. And Stefan has to be careful. I think both boys are now filling the pace, just him in the corner, slouched down. 
three rounds to go here in our co-main event. It is a WBC Middle East middleweight title bout. We thought it was going one way, then it went the other. But no, not both fighters, like we were saying before, are showing a massive amounts of heart here in this one. And I mean, that's what's going to win it at the end of the day, I think. I think I would say it's stepping up maybe two rounds by now, right, right now at this stage. But I, can't, I don't know how the judges have seen it. Exactly. Here we are, the start of the sixth round. WBC Middle East Middle Weight title is on the line. He'd better start here, I think, in this round for him. His eyes are a little more open, he's, he's looking a bit more. I think maybe his corner's told him if he's, he wants to get this one, he's probably got to be more of the aggressor. Stephen has to go back to just flicking that jab out, head and body, and keeping him moving. Just let, let him move, not a lot, just a little movement. Nice uppercut, beautiful. beautiful. Oh, great connection across. And the crowd applauding that one there. Oh, a great heart there from Abdu. We know he's tired, he took a big punch there. as well. Great response there from Abdu. Instead of being holding back, oh, he's gone. Body shot. Oh. Great uppercut. We thought that could have been coming. Could this be a camp? Yes. Great heart again by the fighter. Showing why exactly why he deserves to be here. Showing that heart. He wants that title. Stefan sensing. Searching here. Has to try and hold now. Has to try and hold. Finish. Oh, referee's calling it. Rightfully so. Stefan walking around. He's excited. He is extremely happy here. And so is the crowd. We've got AB Fitness. I, just, I, thought we, I think we saw it coming for, but what are your thoughts, mate? Yeah, I just think they could have shot so all night were landing from Stefan. And I, th I think he broke his heart. Yeah, yeah. I mean, definitely. And I'd be coming out, he was super confident, they would just run around, dance around. He still saw that in the first two rounds, but come that third round, I'd be really just to change it. It just was the main pathway with, with Stefan. He wasn't bringing through with him. And I think it just broke his heart. Yeah. It was nice too, I mean, Stefan changed up a bit, worked the body a bit more as well. Yeah. It's home. So there we go. A great fight here. It is the rampage. Sorry, ringside rampage for the launch. Remember, why is it called the launch? It's called the launch because this is the arena for the second of ringside global gym. Down in Port Rushes, so if you are in the area, make sure you drop in and join in. One of the classes can be held here. We've been given absolute pleasure here in that first co main event fight. Absolutely fantastic. Great hard shot by both fighters, great intensity shown by both fighters, and two contrasting styles. Today we probably saw there from Stefan when he came in, he saw him when he was walking down the catwalk. He was focused, he was zoned in, he had a game plan in mind. Just joining in the ring there, you see from right to left, Jose Mohan, he's the commissioner. There it is, 
WBC. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Jojo Shores called the Celtics to be out in round number six. He's declaring your winner by a TKO. And now, your WBC Middle East Super Middleweight Champion, Stefan Fungi Present right now, we got Mr. Santa from the WBC, Mr. Payal Monar from Ringside Gym, and Mr. Jose Mohan from Middle East Boxing Commission. Yeah, Minari, Oksana, Sinasina, and our new champion there for the Middle East middleweight title. We hear from our champion. Steve's there in the middle with him. Ladies and gentlemen, out here with the new, with the champion, WBC Middle East Super Middleweight Champion. How cool does that sound? Again? How awesome does it sound to be now the champion? WBC Middle East Super Middleweight Champion. For me, uh, it's very big. And uh, I'm building my career. And first, I want to thank Ringside for this opportunity. And uh, big thank you to the father, Zach, who is looking us from above. He's the first one who, uh, who did my first pro career in Dubai. And here, I'm here with the WBC belt. Thank you, Zach. Thank you, Ringside. And this is very big for me. And I want to say big thank you to my family, who is there, to everyone who came to watch me. UK Residency, BNS Group, Chimera, the brand, Liban Suleiman, shout out to you, you the boss. And uh, thank you, my coach. I've been working really hard on this camp. Claude, who I'm the main man, my sparring partner, my brother, <laughs> the big guy, <laughs> and uh, Ivan, big thank you. Thank you for all the support. All, oh, everyone who believe in on me at the first day, I'm still working hard to reach uh, to the world level, and I'm here with this first step. We have many more belts coming soon. Thank you very much, the family. I'm grateful. Thank you, Stefan. You had a you got a lot of fan base. You had a great performance. You never disappointed your friends and family. Is there somebody else you'd like to fight in the future? Yeah, sure. Uh, after this, I think I'm going to go for some training camp, UK or USA. And uh, the target is uh, the Italian, what is his name? Zuko, WBC International Italian Champion. So I'm coming for you, Zuko. After this, I'm going to train hard and come for that belt. So stay ready, I'm coming champ. Ladies and gentlemen, your WBC Middle East Super Middleweight Champion, Stefan Fajio Hendo. Now. Now, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I'm here with a man who made this night happen, Payamo Nari from Ringside Gym and Otherside.com too. My man, first of all, congratulations. Great vibe, great night, great place. What are your thoughts about what's happening tonight? First of all, thank you very much. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Stefan, congratulations. Congratulations to, of course, Abdu as well. It is not easy to getting into this ring. So congratulations to both of you having been able to fight for the WBC title. Thank you, Oksana, from Moscow, Russia, for having us here, Supervisor of WBC, the Commissioner Jose, and thank you to the sponsors, Adasad.com, MK Production, Deluxe Car Care, Shukran Water, Mr. Farad Nasser, thank you so much. Thank you, Shave Shop, Thank you, Steve, the MCs. Thank you, Team RSG. Thank you very much, everyone. Congratulations, brother. All the best.
All right, thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Payal Bernari, and again, Stefan Fungel.